Welcome to World 7! This is Pipe Land, or Pipe Maze, or whatever you want to give a name to your pipes. So, the reasoning behind this name is very clear. There's lots of pipes, and this place is a freaking maze. Right now, I am trapped, and I have to go back, just because this is not the proper way to go. Did you really think that you will be able to make your way without having to play through level first? And yeah, I really don't care at this point, I'm just gonna use my P-Wings because I can. With that said, there's still one reason why I decided to take that, and we're definitely gonna see this in due time. So, the Pipe Maze might have an overworld map that might be really tricky and weird to navigate, but in overall, it's still my favorite world of the game, just because there's a lot to see and do, all of the levels I think are pretty fun and unique for the most part, so you're never gonna play the same level twice, and finally there's a whole lot of these pipes that just randomly do things and why they're here, uh, you don't really know. Yep. Why am I doing this? Who cares? It's just here. Uh, oh, pfft. oh well. It's not as if I'm having any one of problems right now. With that said, I still have money problems, so might as well go over here. Yeah, it's definitely a whole lot easier if you go here with a peeling, but I think you can still do this with a regular leaf. And yeah, one of the particularities in though these levels that I like is the fact that, yeah, in those vertical levels, the screen will just allow you to wrap like that. But that said, I still have to take a look because... Uh, ah, okay, <laughs> go into pipe already. Uh, okay, oh, well, it's not as if it matters because we pretty much will have lost our wing at this point. Oh, hey, we definitely should go back and have a coin ship. Nah, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> and finally, you cannot have the coin ship in this world because instead of having Hammer Brothers, you just get these Pyrona plants which are just chilling in the background. Other than that, that's pretty much all that they're doing, so you definitely need to keep an eye on them. Oh, this is my favorite pipe section, the one where you have this giant slope that you can slide in. Okay, do I have a slot? Yeah, okay. That was also another reason why I decided to free up a space in my inventory. Okay, so I guess I just got the regular knockoff version instead of the P-Wing. In order for it to be useful, you need to be able to fly. So level 2 over here is the one level of the world where you can get all of the stuff in order to uh, well, if you collect enough coins, you get another Toad House to appear, but unfortunately, I don't really know how you make it appear. I'm pretty sure you need a frog suit, because otherwise you're not gonna be able to collect enough coins in order to make this appear, because yeah, there's a whole lot of bricks here, which essentially are coins that we will need to collect in due time, but... Yeah, as you're going to see, I don't think we're going to be able to make this work. Yeah, essentially, you will need to be able to swim fast enough in order to go to the other coin section over here. Okay, I managed to get a couple of them, but who knows if it's going to be enough. And yeah, that's another one of these levels where you definitely see that there's a whole lot of pipes, but hey, the level is still fun anyway, because there's still a pretty hefty amount of, uh, of different things that you have to do. Okay, so, oh, yeah. This is also one of the things that you're going to start seeing a whole lot in the game. You have all of those gaps where you just have to make some bridges and all sort of things in order to be able to make this work, but yeah, I'm not gonna get this leaf because the fire, the fire flower is supreme for the time being. But yeah, this is still a pretty peaceful underwater area. I'm kind of surprised that there's absolutely no enemies all the way down here. Instead, all of the actions is on top of the... Oh, okay. I was floating on the top of the magic block. So, yeah, that's the reason why you want a fire flower, because holy shit, that's a lot of things. And yeah, by the way, whenever you get swarmed by adversity, this is when all of your singing talents come to fruition. Alright, I'm sorry, but I'm definitely not gonna pay you any deed or any regard, or whatever you want. Oh, alright, I'm almost going to be the king of the losers, because I have too much room.
Yep, unfortunately I did not get it. I did not get enough coins in order to get that thing. Honestly, if you want that, you pretty much need to have a frog suit, because otherwise you are fighting a lost cause. Uh, this is probably my favorite level of the world, because it has one gimmick that I wish that they use a little bit more into the game. This is a perpetual Starman level. You just have to collect all of the Starmans in or- uh, Oh shit, I definitely fucked that up. I don't think I'm gonna get to the other one in time. Ah, okay, apparently I did, so... Oh, okay, I'm so glad that I got that thing, and yeah. If your Starman runs out, then unfortunately you're not gonna be able to get any of the... Any of the other Starmen to pop up, which is kind of a thing, because... Okay, with that said, I'm gonna try and see if I can get a 1-up to appear, just because... Ah, uh, I, I missed one, and unfortunately I missed my mushrooms as well. Mario is never gonna be a gardener! Okay, so over here is the way forward, but before we're gonna go over here, because, well, there's a toad house and steak, and... Before we play, it's time to play our favorite game. It, I think it's our last chance to get a, a mushroom that has a mustache, so obviously it's time that we play our cards right. Okay. Nah, I pressed too late. Yes! I did it! <laughs> now this LP can die a happy piece. A uh, happy death. <laughs> What the hell is a happy piece, anyway? Is this what the Mushroom Kingdom was before all of this chaos happened? Warzel, man. Uh, oops, okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna have a gathering with both of those turtles. They both need a rest. So, was there even anything here? No, I guess it's just decoration. Uh... Oh my god, what the hell was that? That was kind of cheap. I don't remember that this one bob -omb will be just right next to the place where you spawn, so... I guess the theory is I took too much time, so yeah, this time we're not gonna pay any heed to those turtles. I'm not too sure why they're even here, because they're not any threat. Okay, yeah. That definitely was not the thing that was supposed to happen. Also, I always was disappointed that you cannot blow up walls whenever you use bombs. I mean, that's how pyrotechnics are supposed to work. Okay, so, so far, this is pretty much the one coin level. Honestly, this is the one level that probably should have been the one where you get a whole lot of coins. Oh, and this level definitely pulls a couple of tricks on you. You gotta figure out which one of the pipes you must take in order to go upwards, because if you take the wrong one, you're just gonna have a coin. Or you're just gonna get a one-up as well, so... Alright, we... Oh, shit. Is it already too late? No, it isn't. And that's where we have to go. And yeah, we can go over here just in order to get the, another power-up. It's a one-way journey, but it definitely was worth the trip. So yeah, this one level of the world is a little bit more maze-like than your typical level of this world. Which definitely is another one of the reasons why I also have- why I also like it. I mean, there's definitely a bunch of levels in this world- oh, okay. I thought for a second you would not be able to jump back here. But yeah, you can skip this portion of the level if you have a, a leaf, but hey, I don't have that. And yeah, you need to do a running jump in order to get here, because otherwise you're just gonna... Uh, oh god, yeah, that's a trap! <laughs> but hey, at least this is a trap that managed to not work. But yeah, you can see that the designers are, start are starting to be a little bit more crafty with what they're doing. And yeah, this is a shortcut that you can only take if you have the firepower in order to do so. Or the tail power. I don't know. Pick whichever one you like. So yeah, the world definitely do a pretty good job of mixing those puzzle-like levels and all of us that definitely involve a little bit more challenge. And yeah, once again, there's another one up here. This game is pretty much bleeding one-ups, and at this point it's gotten even more ridiculous. 
At least I like how come every single one of these levels end with a very f cheerful fanfare. Okay, so do I have a spot left? No, I don't. Alright, this is gonna be a very tricky toad house! Uh, ah, now I totally lost my invisibility, or my invincibility. Yeah, too bad. I wonder what will have happened if I knock in two toads. So, yeah, this level is definitely one of those levels where you want a cloud, but we're not gonna do that. And if I remember correctly, yeah, you can fly over here just in order to be able to get some free stuff. You can go here in order to get the two one-ups, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we cannot fly anymore. It's time for us to pack it in and go home. So, why do people want to skip that level? Yep, that's why. This level does... Uh, whoa, okay. Do I just swim faster underwater because I have the P-Wing? Okay. Is it always been like this? Because I'm definitely confused. So yeah, make sure for this one level that you have at least a mean to attack, because holy shit you're gonna suffer in this level otherwise. Now you're thinking, okay, things are still pretty straightforward, but uh-oh, things are certainly looking bad for you here. Yep, that's one really tricky part, and considering that the swimming controls in this game are really not the best, this is a section that is really brutal. It's not like Donkey Kong Country 2 where you will be able to adjust- Oh, oh my goodness, that's a clusterfuck of squids that we have over here. Yep, this level doesn't fuck around. Okay, but at least we're given some mercy and we're gonna be able to finish this level tall. Or maybe not, because... Uh, oh. Yeah, so essentially this is the ultimate underwater challenge, because as far as I can remember, this is the last underwater stage, but man does it go out with a bang. That definitely is not a simple level in the slightest. But hey, at least we've managed to do it, and this is pretty much what matters in the end. But with that said, cloud this level whenever you can, because this is definitely not a level that a lot of people will like to play, myself included. Ah, there was a card game over here, but nah, who cares? I have full inventory. I don't want that stuff. So yeah, this is what replaces the Hammer Brothers for this one world. Instead, we have those mini levels that just, yeah, that just involve Pyrona plants. And yeah, these ones definitely are particular because they have the capability to keep munching beyond the grave. So yeah, I guess that's a case for an invincibility star. So we're definitely gonna skip through that one level just in order to make things a little easier on, on us, okay. And yeah, you have to figure out that this is the right pipe. And yeah, that was also the reason why I sacrificed a star. That's because, yeah, you get an item at the end. So what exactly did this pipe do? I'm pretty sure that's whenever you get around to the second fortress. Yup, it is. Also, you gotta really love that one pipe on the right. That one pipe which leads absolutely nowhere and is therefore completely pointless. Yeah, this game is pulling off all of the stops. So this is a fortress that definitely give a lot of trouble to people because a lot of people. This is definitely a fortress unlike any other in the game. It's like, where the hell is everything and where the hell is everyone? There's no enemies anywhere, no traffic, absolutely nothing. All that we have is an adversary his time, because for this one level, you have a lower time limit than usual, which makes it urge urgent for you to figure out how to go through this one level. And yeah, this is also a weird pie because... Okay, this is a weird pie because whenever you try to jump in it, well, you die, so... Alright, that's definitely not how you do this, but yeah, that one pipe that I was trying to jump to, well, it does absolutely nothing. It's an exit pipe, and you will think that there will be something involving you entering this pipe, but instead, this is where you're gonna exit this pipe as you're gonna play this level. 
So once again, this is kind of not intuitive. If anything, they probably should have just made that pipe float in the air to indicate that this is not where you're supposed to go. But we're definitely gonna go to the main program here. We have to go over here because, yeah, that's where we have to go. Yeah, there's a P block over here and that's what you need to do in order to go here. You can collect a lot of coins if you want, but yeah. We're not here for the money, we're here for the big price of this one level. And this is what we're gonna have to do in order to finish this level, unless that you go in this level with any means of flying. And talk about convenience, we just go out the same pipe. And yeah, just in case that you take the other pipe first, well, good luck wasting your time. Oh, uh, wait, not good luck, because you're gonna succeed in doing that. So, yeah, you have to start flying, because, yeah, the exit pipe is right over here, just between that one lamp, which is hanging in the air, and that block structure, which just end up looking like a cross. So, yeah, this is one puzzle level where you have to fly in order to figure it out, and yeah, for the information, the one block that I got my mushroom from, you cannot use it in order to get a leaf because you get a fire flower out of the deal. Okay, I still have some time in me in order to do another card game. Ah, uh, unfortunately, this is the one which is the least fun to do. Alright, let's have an hybrid. Ah, uh, that's kind of a tame hybrid. Boo! Okay, so what exactly was that one level? Okay, this is probably the one level that I remember the least, but yeah. It's the one level of the of the world that just decides to involve wrapping around the screen a whole lot. And it's also going to bring back one of the gimmicks that we saw way back in World 4. This is the other level in the game we're going where we're going to be able to see them. But before uh, ah no. <laughs> But yeah, it brings out those blocks that have a little lamps, a lampshade symbol. Uh, no, it's not a lampshade. How do you call that? A bulb or... Oh, a light bulb. Welcome to Let's Teach Psychedelic How French Work. Uh, or English, because I probably shouldn't know how French work at that point. But yeah. Uh, oh, all right. I need my danger coins. You call a danger coin a coin that you get just by going over here. So yeah, that's another tricky bit because yeah, you might be thinking you have to go here because that definitely seems the most logical thing to do, but eh, not really because you're still having a grave problem. Okay, and that one block over here is totally not worth the time. And now that I'm small, that one part is going to be even harder. Yeah, that's a pretty daring jump that you have to do here. Honestly, considering how not that precision based the jumping or the puzzles in this game are, that's definitely tricky. And yeah, this is the first part where we're gonna have to use our light bulb uh, blocks for good. Yeah, every time that you jump on it, it changes direction. So yeah, you're just gonna have to make it go right, left, up and whatever other direction that you like. And you got all of these other sections, oh yeah. But if you want all of the coins here, you have to be daring. So while you can go pretty much wrapping all around the screen as you like, it's still not necessary to do it other than like the beginning of the level. And yeah, you gotta get here before your light bulb block fades away. Don't worry, you have a whole lot more time than you think. And we have all of the stars again for the only the second time in this playthrough. Honestly, I've had really shitty luck with the with those things so far. Okay, now I'm probably gonna have to go and look if I have any more inventory spaces left because yeah, honestly, I can't even remember what that pipe was. Okay, I still have a spot left, so might as well go here. Which is probably one of the trickiest levels of this world, but this is another level that I like just because it also uses the perpetual Starman gimmick that we saw earlier on level 3. Except that this time, it actually matters because you have to run and you have to trigger this because the entire level is on a bed of chumps. So therefore, you have to be really careful 
and, oh, oh shit, yeah, that's the one block which is really hard to do. Honestly, if you're small, this level is really, really hard for the most part, but it's also really short as you might have guessed. But you've had a pretty much a good example on how precise you have to be in order to be able to make it to that one place. You definitely have no time to waste here. Alright, I know I shouldn't play slots all that much, but at the same time, this is the last time in the game where we're going to be able to do this, so might as well try and do something. Uh, okay, alright. Alright, we have a Starman plant. Okay, I gotta say that's a pretty nice way to go out. Okay, so I'm gonna take that here because I think I remember that if you were flying in this... Yeah, if you flied here, you had some kind of reward in order to do so. Not to mention that you also dodge a really nasty portion of the level. We're gonna go down in order to investigate it. Also, holy shit, is getting those coins a tricky affair. But yeah, you have this one section where you have to jump from one pipe to the other while dodging all of these other plants which are going upside down and all of this, so yeah. All in all, you definitely want to be careful whenever you're doing this. And yeah, I probably should have kept going with my Starman because I kind of remember that there was something that pretty much made it so that you will need to go uh, and have this power at your disposal. Alright, I guess we're just gonna try and evade this uh, this flower the cowardly way. Here we go. This is the reason why eventually Metal Gear ended up... Uh, no, not Metal Gear, but, well, the, the guy that you play has in Metal Gear, because I've never played a Metal Gear game because... Honestly, I'm really bad at stealth games, so therefore I will just imagine it's not my forte, but yeah, let's have a taster of the one suit that we got back in World 6 that we didn't get to use yet. We now have the Ammer suit, which is probably the supreme power-up of the game, because, okay, it's imprecise as all hell, but it also gives you a lot of possibilities with your attack, and yeah. Those plants definitely... Ah, oh, okay, that one is not a problem, but the plant that I killed first has the nasty ability to just shoot a shit ton of fireballs out, so you have to kill it first. Honestly, if you have the hammer suit, it's definitely a good thing for that one guy. So let's try to keep that hammer suit going, because it's definitely going to be useful for the fortress. And here we have the last toad house. What are we... Oh, you fucking son of a bitch! What am I gonna do with this fucking fuck suit? Oh my god. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna figure something out somehow. But yeah, the one thing which I really like with the... With the hammer suit is the fact that, well, it's not the most accurate thing to attack things which are right in front of you, but whenever it comes the time to attack anything which is either beside, above, or below you, holy shit, this is the one suit that you want, because holy shit, it does the job right. Yeah, honestly, was there anything here? Nah, there was nothing here. Just a hint, little hint of the all of the coins that you can possibly get. So yeah, I'm gonna try to go for that one secret over here, but it's kind of a pain to do. Uh, uh, okay, I somehow managed to grab the block, which definitely will do us a good favor. And yeah, this is also a level where you definitely don't want to take too much time, because... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Even while crouching like that, I still do not fit. So I guess I might have to take that final block in the end. Ah, oh my god, okay. Hold on, we're just gonna fast forward our way through this puzzle. Oh my god, we're actually running out of time! Alright, come on. Okay, I got it! Jesus Christ, you think that after play- Oh no, you fucking son of a bitch. Now, I'm probably gonna have to take that one flower. Ah, oh, okay, alright. So, okay, now the real Dark Souls 2 is on. It's time to try and finish that maze level without running out of time, so... Alright. 
We're definitely gonna make our way as fast as we can and hopefully I'm gonna be able to showcase most of the important things. Yeah, so all in all, you definitely have to take the right paths. Yeah, there's a bunch of coin. Ah, no, unfortunately I missed my... I lost my hammer suit. Okay, so was there anything of value here? Oh, okay, there's a lot of coin. Uh, oh, a lot of coins, them being three. Oh, boy. I think we're so dead. Unfortunately, I... Ah, no! <laughs> Alright, it's down to the seconds, man. Can we do it? Uh, oh, okay. We're definitely not gonna do it, guys. <laughs> Yeah, too bad. I kind of had a good run with this. But hey, at least we, d we did the very important thing of showing how to skip through a place with while we are having a block or whatever. So, alright, it's time to do this one level again. Okay, now that I'm small, I better... No, I'm not going back to that godforsaken place. Jesus Christ. What exactly could have gone more wrong in that one attempt at the level? But yeah, now that we don't have any stress or whatever going on, you can definitely enjoy the sights of this level. Too bad, however, that I lost my hammer suit, but eh, you can't have any everything. And yeah, there's definitely a lot of dead ends, so... Yeah, once again, don't try to spend too much time getting to that one... Uh, Optional area that we went through at the beginning because hey, it's definitely a hard thing <laughs> Okay, now it's time to see if we have the ability to squeeze through like a gentleman slender plumber Yeah, we definitely can so uh, nah, That's right. We already went to the left. So there's no more things to see so yeah, at this point all that we have to do is to just figure out our way through the, the rest of this level and once that you're there, there's not really a whole lot of maze left. Essentially, that's the one place that you have to go and that's pretty much going to be it for this one level. Yeah, I really wonder why they even went through the trouble of putting a power up here because hey, I don't really think that there's any more enemies uh, in this one level, so yeah, we're pretty much done. Time to finally hit exit out of this place, and let's try to get five up for the last time. Ah, no, unfortunately it did not work. So remember, two stars and a mushroom. Well, this is the kind of things that enter a bar after some point. Okay, so, yeah, but at this point I only have one hammer suit. Um... Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go that way. I kind of want to save my f my fire suit for a special occasion. Uh, occasion, but yeah, now you see how the hammer suit will have been useful. Honestly, the hammer suit was pretty much made for that for that one level. But now that we don't have anything to defend ourselves anymore, we're gonna try and do this level the hard way, which is while not having any items at all. Okay. So yeah, for once we might have a level that involve us to concentrate instead of doing really, really dumb mistakes like we did. With that said, however, you also have an invincibility star that will help you through most of this level, but it's still a nice change of scenery to see a fortress level where there's just a lot of plants that you have to deal with. And yeah, once again, the hammer suit is really useful here because the hammer can kill twomps. Pretty much, well, the hammer can kill anything in this one game. That's pretty much what you have to remember. The only thing, well, not everything, because it won't kill the little disc. Only the, ten the Tanuki suit can do this, but hey, that's still close to being almost everything. And yeah, we have a little Twomp puzzle, which is definitely trickier than your usual Twomp puzzle. So all in all, this level really does a, a lot of things that in overhaul are really, really nice and break up the pace uh, for the one game. And for the last fortress, I also like it because it's a pretty challenging one and it definitely was fun to wade through. So yeah, we have one final fight with another final fight. Ooh, oh, okay. 
Uh, it was not really my plan to do that. Oh, yeah, this level is also pretty weird. I always was really weirded out by the fact that the little node blo blocks here, the node just move only whenever the plants move. It's definitely a weird touch. Stay tuned for a creepypasta near you. Ah, I got a mushroom, unfortunately. So, I just need to... Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm not gonna have... Uh, yeah, I probably should use an item, however. Alright, we're gonna need a cloud in order to go through this level. After all, we're taking to the skies. Yay! And our favorite ruler is Yoshi. Once again, why do we have to change him? I don't want to change him. I'm just gonna ride the king and I'm gonna do whatever it needs to be done to rescue that... Uh, to rescue that ruler that became Yoshi. Yeah, we need to rescue Yoshi against itself. So, welcome to the final airship of the game. And it definitely is a doozy. If you enjoy all of those vice platforms that you fall through unless that you jump on them all of the time, oh boy, this level is for you. And the thing with this one level is that for the most part, you're gonna have to jump on them a whole lot. It's not like some of the other level where they were completely optional. Nah, in this one, you're definitely gonna have to jump. In these one stretches, at least, you don't really have to do with anything. Uh, oh, yeah. And yeah, you also have this little section, which is also pretty clever if you want another power up. So. And you don't really have a whole lot of leeway in order to do it, so you definitely need to be careful. And unlike most of the game where the mole placement was pretty much always put at the same places, and you had like those three windows where they would just pop out every once in a while, in this one level they start being put at little more random places. So once again for the final airship, that's definitely a nice thing to mix up things. So, yeah, in order to do those jumps, you're gonna have to advance those vice, but if you do it too much, then you're just gonna fall in the pit with them. All in all, this is a pretty vertiginous airship, so you definitely need to be careful. Yeah, it's time for the final vice platform puzzle. All of those three vices, but hey, at least I think you probably could do it while jumping on them only like one time or two, but... Yeah, notice how come in the last two airships we didn't have any cannons or whatever. And holy shit, he has a pretty nice looking airship. You can see all of the windows. And yeah, here we have Ludwig von Koopa, the final of the Koopa kids. And he's just like Roy Koopa, as in anytime he's just gonna land on the floor, he's just gonna make the ground shake. We definitely took a beating, but at least we managed to prevail. So that's it! We've pretty much managed to complete our entire job! All of the kings will have been turned to normal, and we can finally go back and enjoy and enjoy a good old rest, as, as well than just enjoy the serenity that everything is right. After all- Oh, holy shit, now the king's a viking. Okay, as much as I would have liked having a Yoshi king, I guess I can really enjoy him. And holy shit, he speaks like a human being as well. Hooray, you're my favorite king! Oh my god, it turned out the princess is being kidnapped! Oh my goodness, I never saw that coming! Ah! Uh, no, I'm sorry, that didn't sound convincing in the slightest. I definitely need to work on my surprise voice, so... Yeah, the princess has been kidnapped and it only took Bowser all of World 7 in order to be able to do his work. He works fast for a turtle, or lizard, or reptile, or a dinosaur or whatever he wants to be called. As for you, I dub the King Jerkbutt. Okay, or King of the Koopa, whatever. I, I just thought that name sounded better, okay? So we're gonna take the fight to the homeland of the Bowser in the next world. So I hope you'll be joining me as we beat off Bowser. Uh, oh, beat off. <laughs> Die beaters, get out of my head already. Okay, and finally, we're gonna rescue the princess and we're gonna do everything that needs to be done for this to be a happy end. So, see you in World Hate. <laughs>